hey everybody um either you were not in school for this lab or i wasn't in school for this lab uh this pre-lab stuff for the separation of a mixture so this video is to start that process so the first um the first part of this video, we're going to talk about the separation of a mixture concepts. And so what I'm going to do right now is share my screen and jump over to that assignment page, maybe. Okay. So in Canvas, you should have an assignment that looks like this separation of a mixture concepts. That's where you want to go. And within that, we will load this document. You'll have to do that file, make a copy deal. You can change the title of this, maybe put your name there. Then when you go to find it later, you'll be able to find it easier um, and you'll know that that's the one that has your answers. I've been getting some documents with no answers. So make sure that you actually upload the one that you typed into. So we're just gonna go through this together. So first of all, um, let me see if I can zoom in. All right, so separation and mixture lab concepts. The introduction, most of the substances that we come in contact with every day from the air we breathe to the water that we drink are mixtures. This lab will provide you with the opportunity to make a mixture, then separate and analyze the components. So yes, we are gonna have you mix things together and then separate them again. And this will give you experience in separation techniques, but also in careful laboratory measurements. So you're gonna be able to see how well you did in the separation, because you're gonna know exactly how much you started with. And then when you separate them and measure them again, you'll see whether you gained or lost mass in any of your substances. Background, we've talked about this already, but a mixture is a combination of two or more pure substances that retain their separate chemical identities and properties. For example, if you mix sand and salt, the two substances are combined physically, but they have not formed new substances. They retain their own identities and properties. I want you to take a second and picture putting a spoonful of this mixture into your mouth. So you mix sand and salt together and you take a spoonful and put it into your mouth, okay? You are going to taste primarily salt, probably not a pleasant experience, okay? But you're gonna feel the grit and the texture of the sand. The salt's just gonna dissolve in your mouth, but that sand is just gonna be gritty and gross. So the whole experience, not fun, but the point of that visualization exercise was to show you that they still keep their properties. Salt, salty, still dissolves. The sand doesn't dissolve, has maybe probably has a taste, but anyway, they keep their properties. Their physical properties can be used to separate them from each other. So whenever we're separating mixture, we are using physical properties. Examples of physical properties used to separate mixtures include solubility, which is dissolving in water, ability to dissolve in water, conductivity, magnetism, density, we'll be learning about that more later, boiling point, melting point, and many others. So those are all properties. Now physical changes, so a little different word there, physical changes that can be used include filtration, evaporation, crystallization, and others. So these are examples of changes versus these up here are properties, but they're all physical. Any sample whose composition can be altered by using a physical change is a mixture, not a pure substance. All right, so here's our section with scientific concepts. In this lab, we are separating mixture of salt, sand, and iron. Answer the following questions to help prepare you for the separation. So over here, list at least three physical properties of each of the following. We'll start with A, salt, okay? Physical properties of salt. Well, first of all, what does it look like? That's the easiest physical property to answer. Hopefully you're telling me it's white and it's solid. When you look at it, you can see it, it's solid. It's not um, flowing like a gas or liquid would be, okay? Then any other properties you can think of about salt. Hopefully you think about what would happen to it if you put it in water. If you put it in water, it would dissolve. So that means that it is, oops, soluble. It will dissolve in water. Or you can write dissolves in water. That works for me as well. All right, B, sand. What does it look like? Okay, 
The color of sand, that's up for interpretation. It kind of depends on what sand you're most familiar with. The sand that we're gonna be using is kind of a tan color or brown color, okay? But hopefully the solid word popped up into your brain again. Um, we could even keep going. What happens when you put sand in water? Well, it is not soluble. Okay. All right, see iron. Iron can look like a lot of different things, but we're gonna be using iron filings, which are little tiny grits of iron. And if you haven't worked with those before, you might not know what they look like, but they are black and solid. And then what's a property of iron that's gonna be kind of important in this lab? Hopefully you know that iron is magnetic. If you don't, that's okay. We'll just put it there, okay? If we wanted to say not soluble here too, that can help. Up here, we could put not magnetic, okay? Sand is not magnetic, iron is magnetic. So then we could go up here and put not magnetic again, okay? All right, define mixture. Again, when you are having questions like this and you have an introduction up here, you might look at it because it, right here is the definition of mixture. A combination of two or more pure substances that retain their separate chemical identities. Of two or more pure substances that retain their separate chemical identities. List at least four examples of physical properties that can be used, or sorry, physical properties done, and list at least three methods of physical separation. So again, use your introduction, figure those out, and we will see you in the next video if you are working from home. Talk to you guys later.